Jack was the master ceremony at that uh, Forbidden City nightclub. And after the show, Gene Kelly invited him over and asked him, do you want to go to Broadway? Jack said, who doesn't? I have some very old records here that Jack did. Jack was the first male artist, you know, to record the classic. He had an incredible voice. Dad was very much into sports. Played uh, baseball for the Oakland Merits. He was engaging. And he was a performer in World War II. He's a natural actor. He was a real pioneer. His timing was, was just brilliant. He made people laugh. He was a comedian. He was funny. He was always clowning around. We would just move his eyebrows and it would be funny. I cannot think of Jack and feel really sad. Jack is able to maintain that very cool deadpan. Jack was an example of how to be cool. Jack was the quintessential uh, all-American uh, with an Asian-American face. He's the first Asian-American hipster. I know his real name was Goro Suzuki. The word got out that he was an enemy alien. I do know that he had to report to the FBI. Nobody was allowed to leave that camp. Nobody was to go past those barbed wires or past the guards. But he was able to do it. Once you got to know Jack, it didn't matter whether he was Japanese, Chinese, black, blue, or green. It didn't make any difference. He was Jack. Call your insurance company. Yeah. Don't mention it. Oh my God, I ate my eraser. <laughs> 